what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Donald Trump, number one black sidekick and season shucking jiver, Omarosa is leaving the White House. They say she's going to pack her bags and hit the road, Jack, on the anniversary of his inauguration. A senior White House official added that she met with Donald Trump and is said to be leaving because of the allegations of sexual assault against Roy Moore, uh, claiming that he's uh, sexually assaulted teens, a number of teens and also because of allegations of racism. Now, let me tell you right off the rip, I ain't buying this shit. I don't believe it for one second. First of all, why does she wait till after he lost? Why wait till Roy Moore lose the election to all of a sudden say the reason why you, you've had enough is because of these allegations against him, sexual abuse and racism. Why not leave off the rip? But bigger than that, your boss is everything that you're claiming Roy Moore to be. How come you even had any kind of relations with him in the beginning? Why? Why you didn't leave? Okay, let's say you didn't know in the very beginning before he got that veil peeled back. Okay, let's say you didn't know in the beginning, but you've had plenty of evidence over the last two years to know that Donald Trump is a bona fide racist and you stayed. Why? Because it was benefiting you. See, that's how your kind operate, Amarosa. As long as it benefits you, you don't care who gets hurt. You don't care who you throw under the bus. You're just like Donald Trump, a talentless bottom feeder. You step on anybody to get what you want. You have no loyalty. I can understand why you and Donald Trump was able to kick it together for so long. I still think something was going on on the coup. Something nasty. Remember when Omarosa said that Donald Trump's enemies would bow down? They would all bow down. Well, guess who's bowing down now? I guess she's an enemy now, so she's bowing down. She guaranteed that Donald Trump's enemies would bow down. Amazing. Same thing make you laugh or make you cry. Omarosa say she's leaving. She said she was leaving, but really she got fired. I ain't believing it for one minute. And now that she's coming out and saying that she's leaving and she's trying to give these reasons why she left, she's leaving, Donald Trump will probably put her on blast unless they've already worked out the deal. See? Yeah, that's probably what happened. She's probably already worked out a deal with Donald Trump. She went to him and said, Donald was like, look, Omarosa, I got to let you go. Uh, they're saying we have too many black people in my administration. And Omarosa was like, well, it's only me and Ben. I know, I know that's, that's too many. It's, it's, that's just too many. Uh, <laughs> so he was like, I got to let you go. I got to let you go. But, but you're welcome to come by anytime. Anytime. You're welcome to just, just, just drop by. But call me first. <laughs> not on my cell phone. Call, call Junior and he'll get the message to me. Sad. I'm a roast of getting a taste of her own medicine. She has no plan. She has nothing to do. She's about to feel the squeeze now because she stepped on a lot of people and she burned a lot of bridges. She thought that being in the White House was going to be her big step. Remember when she brought all of her wedding party to the White House unannounced? <laughs> I do expect the tell-all book from Omarosa 
I've heard Donald Trump has worked out a deal, maybe it'll be put on hold for about 20 or 30 years and she'll come with some allegations of sexual assault, how Donald Trump raped her. But by then, Trump's nasty, stinking corpse will be rotting, and his sons will be facing their own allegations of sexual assault. You know it runs in the family. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.